Welcome back to Stone Valley. Thanks for tuning in. And I've got to say, it is the new and improved Stone Valley. I went ahead and updated it and then turned every... Well, I tried to turn everything back to the way it was. Now, I think I got it pretty close, but I did kind of mess up because that field in front of us, I, in the last save, I had it uh, planted in September. And this one, I planted everything in August, so we're one month ahead of the game. But that, and I figured that's all right. It is worth it. So it took me probably, what? Let's see here. Hold on, hold on. Let me see. There, it tells us somewhere, is this it? Yeah, like f almost five and a half hours is what it took me to put this map together. I'm thinking, you know, a half hour, 45 minutes should do it, right? Eh, wrong answer, man. Like, whoo, holy cow. But we got it done. And that is the important thing. That should uh, that should work out really well. And I also installed the uh, premium expansion. So that's gonna give us a couple more crops to choose from. I believe it is what carrots, parsnips, and red beets, I believe it is. So that should be a lot of fun. I've got some ideas on what we can do with that to try to make uh, some good profit. Now outright, they sell for about the same as sugar beets and potatoes. Potatoes a little bit more, but sugar beets right in the same realm. So that, uh, I mean, that's gonna be all right, but we can do different things with them. I think we can do soup and preserves or something i don't know carrot preserves just sounds nasty but you know i don't have to eat it i just gotta sell it so first thing i want to do though is i want to get this field here i want to get this area finished cultivated and then i want to put some crops in the ground here i don't know what i'm gonna put in here i'm thinking one of the new crops so we'll have to figure it out hopefully our cedar over there will put them in the ground i haven't checked yet but we'll find that out. So once I get this done, I think we should jump over to field 14. It's our canola field and it is ready to go. So we can get it harvested and then we'll maybe we'll put a worker or something over there. But let me get this done real quick. And lucky for us, our header just barely fits down this road, but it does fit. I think I have traffic off. I should probably turn that back on. I had it off when I was bringing all the equipment to the farm. Yee oh, come on now. You can make it. You can jump it. Get it squeezed through the tree. It can't. Oh, okay. We're, oh. A little slalom is needed, evidently. Oh, wait. Here we go. Neighbors said that they didn't mind. I think this is our field, right? This looks like a canola field. I guess it'll tell us soon enough. And how about this land? Oh, we do have access. I was uh, I was starting to wonder. There we go. Now this will take a minute. It's not massive, but still it'll take a little bit. I think what we'll do is we'll just run a headland. We'll do the normal. Let's run a headland around here. That should allow the worker to do what they need to do. Have plenty of room to turn around. sure how they are going to do with this little line they've got there look at that they've got these little placeables i saw one on the other side as well now i'm not really i don't think i'm really going to go for them on this playthrough i think we we've got enough money that we should be all right if we need them we know they're there but hopefully we don't need them with almost three million bucks left i think we should be fine let's Pick the worker on here and go. 
Now, I do need to turn the speed down for them. I don't think they need to be going 26 mile an hour. Are you guys going to go all the way across? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Yeah, there we go. That makes me... No, what are you doing? You made it. You were in it. You goofball. They were in it. They started harvesting. What is wrong with them? Okay, so I kind of did that little air... Trees. Just nothing but trees. That... <laughs> Stop it. There we go. That area... Oh, I can't see it because they took off. But that little area is done. Okay, are we good? We're good. So let me go grab a truck here. Not you. You. Now, I've got good news. Is this thing was just so loud and cackled so much. Now, I don't know if it's because I updated or if it's because I put two exhaust on it. But when I take my foot off the gas, no cackle cackle. It's not like screaming in your ears or nothing. I am super excited about that because that means I can probably keep this truck. It is fast as all get out. And that's what it's doing. You are brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. Come here. Or did you leave? I think he quit on me. Now, man, look how small that truck looks next to that harvester. Oh my God. You know, you know it's big, but you just don't realize it's perspective. Okay, so let's get this emptied and then maybe, how far does that go? I don't. Maybe I'll just start them over here and see what they do. Or we're going to have some cleanup, but that's as always. All right, so we... Oh, turn it on, turn it on, turn it on. Woo, okay. And go. Back on a worker, yes. Now, 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 I think we need to figure out how to put potatoes... No, not potatoes. Uh, Carrots, parsnips. So, can we... I certainly do love it when you hit the wrong button and you empty everything out of your cedar. Did you did you see that that seed bag or pallet? Look how it drops. I've never seen one do that before. That is cool. That is pretty neat. Okay, now that we're all filled again, and let's see. Uh oats, canola, blah blah blah. There were lentils. I forgot about the lentils. So, okay. So, no. This planter, cedar, cannot put the new crops in. It can't put lentils in. But that's not what I was looking for. Oh, well, okay. It looks like I need to come and finish what the worker did here as well. We can handle that. First, we need to figure out how to put lentils in the ground. Let's see, premium expansion, that sounds good. Uh, no, ridges, which you can plant your vegetables afterward. Wait, do you need to do ridges first? Oh, this, this could be interesting. So this will plant them, but it is a whopping three meters. Okay, that's a big fat no. Which one? This one here. This is the guy we need. It also does fertilizer. So I'm assuming having cultivation. Does it have a tank or anything? Or is it just the little tanks on each individual planter? Well, I don't know. Let's let's buy it. And now, wait, how much horsepower does it need? 70. Okay, we can handle that. So we could even use this guy. No, let's use the dudes far. Where's it at? Okay. Glad we came back here, I guess. They just would have been hanging out. Oh, there's the deuce far. It was it was on the other cedar. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, sometimes I am brilliant, just brilliant. Let's head to the store. Okay, so I'm a little concerned. When I open up the planter here, <laughs> those are not very big bins. I mean, I, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like that is going to hold much. I feel like I should have a tank. 32 liters. I mean, how how long can this go? I feel like I should have a tank on the front of this tractor. Now, I don't... $21 to fill this up. Okay, there's got to be something I am missing here. Now, see, this guy has a similar setup, and it has the big pipe coming out, and then you got the big bulky 
trailer that holds all the stuff. Now, this is not for planting what we want to plant. This is just a cedar, basically. The sorghum and oats and canola, fun stuff like that. But I can find absolutely nothing for a bigger tank. So I, I guess we are just going to roll with it. I'm not sure what else to do. So we're filled up. Let's go over here. I'm giggling to myself because I know the size of this field and the size of those little baby hoppers on there just doesn't feel like it's going to do much for us. Let's uh, unfold it and unfold. It's kind of cool. I like that. Oh, it is awful small. Maybe I should have picked a smaller field. Maybe I should have swapped the grass field for this. But we're going to need some just because we we need soup or preserves. Yeah, some carrot preserves. Yummy. Okay, turn that on. And... Oh, yeah, this is not going to last very long. I mean, it's going okay. Mind you, it's better than what I would have thought it would do. I like it. Oh, this is this is going to take forever. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do a dang speedy on this. Well, I mean, I guess we can run the perimeter or part of the perimeter. I don't know. The headland on this take forever. But we started off with, was it 30 or 31 liters? But it's dropping pretty quick. Well, either way, let's, uh, oh, I didn't really want parsnips, or is these red beet? I think this is red beet. I guess we're doing red beet. I think I already need to go grab some more beets. So I think what I want to do is we'll put this on a worker and then we will go grab our low loader. That was kind of worthless when I used it last time, but this time maybe it will be better and we will grab some seed. Go now I could use our uh, silo over there, but the problem is, is then we have to do I hook it? No, I hooked it up. Darn it. Let go. But then I have to drive it all the way back here. If we get to grab that low loader, come on, let's go. Then I can grab some pallets of seed. We can take it over there and we should be good. That way we don't have to travel to and fro so much. Let's grab you. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. All right. Perfect. So I had to run over and empty out the harvester real quick. So I thought I would uh, go ahead and dump this guy out. It was full. Do not hit the fence. This thing is flat out fast now. I mean, it goes so fast. And now that it doesn't make a huge amount of noise, it is just dandy. Go, go, go. I feel like a hot rod in this thing. What are you doing now? Crazy, crazy thing. Well, they didn't quite work square, but that's okay. As long as they're working, we'll come back and fix it. Come here. Go. Keep up. Keep up. We got it. All right. We'll get this emptied out. There's still quite a bit in there. We didn't have much room left in the truck. The bed in this thing is just not overly large, but, I mean, that's okay. We can be fine. If I want to, maybe I could get a little trailer to pull behind it. I think that would be kind of cool. Uh, I'm looking... No, I don't, not grain side door. Tip side back. That's what I wanted. I can't do two things at once, so I couldn't drive and find that at the same time. There we go. I think I need to go empty this again. Do we want big bags? Is that what we want? These are 800 for 1,000. I thought the big, big bags were really good. 
seeds. I think these are the ones. Yeah, 4,000. I mean, I guess they're about the same. Wait, that almost seems... Yeah, 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 that's actually quite good. Let's buy that one. I mean, that thing only holds... Do I really need that big? I mean, that only held 32 liters. Well, all right, that's okay. We'll use it. It doesn't matter. That is fine. And I even brought the tractor with the forks on it. I was a thinker. Not that it was luck or anything. Come on, let's see. Can we get it? Come on, that looks like that should be through there. What are you doing? There you go. Come on. Oh, that was in there. What is it doing? Go. There we go. Perfect. Woof it. And just like that. It seems like an awful big trailer for the, I could have just brought the tractor now that I think about it. <laughs> oh, well, just one bag. Maybe I didn't need this uh, trailer after all. That's okay. That's, I think, just like the last time, I think it was more effort than it saved, you know? Okay, so I do feel a little bit silly with the big old trailer and one bag of seed that I could have just hung on my forks, but uh, it's a little too late now. With that, this. Let's hope that I can do a better job this time. I have faith. Faith, faith, faith. Let's put you up. See, my depth perception matches my faith. Nope. No, it did not. Okay. No, stop it. Oh, don't turn on me, you booger. Just give me the bag. We got it. Okay, that's perfect. Simmer down, feller. Simmer down, man. Now, will I just be able to hold it over? Tell me that filled it up. All 32 liters of it. Yeah, it did. Okay. 32 liters. That is ridiculous. Let's go check on... Hey, look at that. You see all those weeds in there. That is not going to help out with our yield. I think we should empty this before we try to finish the rest of the field here. Pipe out. We'll just do this right in the middle of the road. Nobody minds. It must be a Sunday or something. There we go. Perfect. Don't hit the pole. Don't hit the pole. Go through and clean this all up. say that was pretty darn painless they didn't do too bad i mean they definitely could have done better but you got to remember what you're dealing with here and there we go and it's all in sweet so that field is at least harvested i don't know how much we got i know we got a, ooh, almost three truckloads oh don't hit that oh this is gonna be tight oh <laughs> I can't make that one. Can I fit through here? It doesn't... Oh, wait. What if? What if? I'm determined now. I've got to do it. Turn, 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 turn. Yeah. No. Turn, turn, turn. There we go. Only destroying a little bit of somebody else's crop to get it done. Put that down there. Let's turn this so it's going the right way. I don't know why I like it face this way just seems like it fits better and it gets it out of the road let's grab you we'll put this in the silo then we can see what our total is opens up the back door now that empties out way quicker than that beefy little grain door on the back so let's see what do we have for canola 53 and a half not bad i mean not stellar mind you but not bad 
All right, let's uh, put you somewhere. We'll put you back in the shed. We'll try to keep things. Oh, don't hit the fence. You know, all right, that's it. That is it. I'm tired of it. Goodbye, fence. Yeah, there we go. I mean, the darn dog runs all over the place anyway. It never hangs out in here. What's the point of the fence? Uh, maybe it defined the space. Maybe. I don't know. We will be okay, I'm sure. They're doing all right. They're down to not very many liters. Let's grab this. I don't know. Can we fill this on the move? I think it did. I think it filled it. Where's it at? Where, 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 where? I went the wrong way. Oh, yeah. That. Oh, don't do that. Darn it. I took the worker off of there. That is not what I meant to do. I was trying to just switch back to my tractor. Let's get this guy going again. Yeah, this is going to take a hot minute for sure. And they are off. I almost think if we're going to be doing any field of any size, we almost need two of these going at the same time. I mean, they don't take much horsepower, so even our lowest horsepower tractor can do it. That's not a bad idea. It might expedite it. Of course, I have no idea how many red beets we're going to get out of this field. We may never, ever need to do them again. So what do we need to do now? We need to probably run over and cultivate. Is that what has to be done? This cultivating thing, I don't know. It's getting old. Already it's getting old. And harvested. Yeah, so I guess the big question is what do we want to put in there? So do we get straw out of where is it what is it where come on where is it it's way down here i'm looking for it because i can't remember what the name of it is rye do we get straw out of rye i mean it's not a very profitable crop is that the show price fluctuations so, I mean, that's in January. That would put us right about the time it would be harvested. But I'm thinking let's let's do some rye just because. I mean, why not, right? But we need to break out the cultivator. Let's get it over there. Get this process started. And I have decided that this field on my left. Here, let's go in here. This is going to be way too. Uh, where are we at? Right here. So this area right here, I think this is definitely going to be where our cow farm is and also where our productions are. Because I don't know if you noticed, if you came into here, they have like the potato soup, beet soup, parsnips, carrot, but then you got triple soup, preserves. So these, this is what I'm thinking about doing for some productions. We could even do potato chips. I don't know if we're going to get into that. I'm really probably going to be focusing more on the carrots and parsnips and stuff. Oh, my. I think that is going to be a wiener. Now, we do have a couple of months before that is going to need to be there for sure, because even our red beets are not going to be ready to harvest for probably three, four months, I would think. Something like that. Drop you... So I want to come up here, try to get this right. So I am going to allow to create fields. And let's get rid of this little goofy thing. Got Scoot it over. This is permanent. We want it to be right here. No, not like that. Stop it. Now, once I run around here, I think then I'll be able to put a worker, but I've got to get this little area right here done first. Hey, that's not the same. That's no good. They don't, the field doesn't line up. Why would they do that? My OCD does not like that at all. So I was just curious, do we need to plow field 14? And I guess the answer is yes. Yes, we do. Which is kind of a bummer. I really didn't think about that. I was thinking cultivation would be good, but we need to plow this or we could do that. And then, hey, we don't need to plow. That's even better. I think what we might do is we might do that for right now. 
And how is this guy going to do? Perfect. Okay. Okay. So we got our worker going here. I think they are going to be okay. They seem to do this whole trek all the way down here, even with creating field. They did it with no problem. So let's leave them to it. And then I know we need to go back to you and you're down to almost out. Back up. Let's go see if we can get it filled up. Whoa, slow down. I don't think we're going to get it before they run out, but we're going to try. Ah, oh, curses. We were so close. Come on. But really, when you think about it, what, we filled this up three times, so 90, 96 liters? Or was that the third time? That might have been the third time. Oh, we filled one twice up with the bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So about 96 liters to get us all the way to here. That's not very much C. That is not bad at all. So at least we know that cost will be low. We do need to babysit this guy a little bit. So what else do we have to do? I mean, we can stand there and watch that guy drive up and down the field. Yes, we could. Uh, I'm just, I don't think I'm going to take any contract. I've not had really much luck. Oh, look, a forage contract. No, thank you. I think I'm done with forage contracts for a while. Well, it does look like we need a little fertilizer spread in our grass field here. I would need to, well, I don't know if I would need to get that cedar out. I bet we could spread fertilizer right around that guy. So where is, they're doing all right. They've almost got that where I can turn off create field, which would be nice. And I need you, 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 you. So I need the fertilizer spreader. Let's go grab that real quick. Wait. How do I get lost? How do I lose my farm? How does that happen? I mean, it's not like it's a small farm, I don't think. Big green field here. I'm like, where did it go? Open her up. I don't need a huge amount of fertilizer. This thing fills up so quick. Oh, maybe a little more than that. Okay. I think for that field, that's all we're going to need. Let's see if we can top him off on the way by. Okay, slow down. Don't run him over. Just top him off. Come on. Take it. There we go. Perfect. I like it. I like having uh, things going on in three different fields. It actually feels like something's getting done. Busy, busy, busy. Something tells me this is not going to take long at all. This guy does pretty wide berth when you're doing fertilizer. Not as much when you're doing uh, lime, but not bad. I do believe this is the second application of fertilizer, so this field will be done. Now, I mean, we're in no hurry for it. We don't have any cows yet, but we will need silage and stuff for TMR. So we've got to get the process started. There, perfect. Let's park this up at the top of the field. We will be ready to go when it is time. Right, right. Uh, I would say probably not over far enough but that'll be okay. we will be fine we will be fine well it looks like we are about halfway i am really really thinking about just going and getting another one okay so i had to i went and bought another one we'll top this off come on take it take it it's so hard to see if it act. There we go. I saw it. I saw it. All right. 
Let's go up here. We'll drop this off by the road, I think. The bag of seed, that is. Then we can fill up our own planter. And we'll go from there. See if we can expedite this. The only downside is, is we don't have anything to run around and fill up the planters anymore. But I think that will be all right. We can always zip over there and grab it. I don't know that I need another... Uh, oh, tractor. I could get maybe a telehandler or something. I know eventually we will need that for the cows. Down, we'll leave that on beats, I think. Oh, wait, 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 wait for it. Turn it on. How's that? Is that better? There we go. That is a wee bit better. This is going to speed the process up considerably. Well, okay. What did I do? What did I do? I put a row of carrots in there. What the heck? Where is it? All right. Hold the phone somewhere over here. Does it tell me? No. Gosh darn it. Where? Where is it? Oh, I think it was right from the start, wasn't it? So maybe like right here. What a goofball. Okay, so there. Just put it on a worker. Maybe they'll do better. What do you mean no field bound? Okay, I think this has fixed my mistake. Uh, uh, didn't really use much seed, but I know there... <laughs> that it was carrots and not beets pull this over too just to make sure we get it covered and now let's look why oh what the heck why does that still say carrots i just went over those with beets what in the world why did that not put anything in the ground well, I guess we're going to have a row of carrots. Just a little change of scenery, you know, a little something, something different. Anyway, how is this guy doing? You. All right, well, not doing too bad. Oh, I forgot. I got this guy on go fast. Why do I do that? I tab the wrong way every flipping time. Shut you off. And I don't mind him going a little fast, but they they were rocking at like 32. So let's take them. Yeah, 14 will be fine, right? I think. But down, they're going to go. Okay, so now where is our cultivator? And what is it doing? It is not quite finished. But it is, seems to have done... I hate those carrots. That's going to drive me insane. They seem to have done okay. What I think I want to do is we'll get this field 7 planted. We'll get field 14. We'll get it cultivated up. And then we'll go ahead and fast forward time and go into... What are we? In September? So we will be moving into October. Just to get things moving. I noticed I looked up and I had time shut off. And I'm trying really hard not to do that. I have a habit of I turn time off and then I go through the entire episode and not a minute passes. So my new rule is that it must be on times two or higher. It can't be any lower, but I had it off when I was trying to set everything up and then I forgot to turn it on. So I fast forward a little bit of time, turned it on times two. So if you see it on times nothing, not then let me know, yell at me, scream at me, go ahead and like the video and subscribe. You know, that's what I would do. Just show me that I should always have it on at least times two. Well, I noticed a little boo-boo going on here. Uh, my worker evidently didn't mind going into this little area right here and kind of messed it all up. Well, it is not... Perfect. But it is not too bad either. Let's go. Let's come on right there. She's still trying to keep it out of the field is the biggie. But okay. So there we go. No harm. No foul. I mean, hopefully as it grows, it will be all right. 
I think. Maybe. I hope. Okay. Good enough. Good enough. Good enough. Now we can go back into here and see if maybe I can get this finished. All I was going to do is take over this and see if I could expedite it. But then, well, then there was that. So I'm not sure how much horsepower does this tractor have because it does not seem to be going as fast as I think it should go. Oh, shoot. We've only got 391 horses in this. I think maybe, maybe we should bump it up when we get the chance. Because this, this seems to be a little slow. I know it's as fast as it's supposed to go, but that doesn't really mean anything when I would like it to go at least a little bit faster. Just into the double digits would be nice. Maybe 12, 13. That's just into them. And this is the last little bit and beautiful done big old done stamp on it well i mean this part of it we still have to plant and fertilize and all that other good stuff but at least the cultivating is done so i think we should go up here and we should sleep through the night and go into october but I think what I might do is I might just go ahead and do that in the next episode. I feel like I have done plenty here. We've got it going. We've got to leave something for the next episode, and I think we've left it off in a pretty good place. We seem to be sitting really good. We've got all, almost all of our fields planted. Everything is rocking on really quite well. This one's all the way fertilized. Our grass field's all the way fertilized. We've got some new, what, red beets planted? That's the first time I've ever planted red beets. So that is kind of cool. Now, what were we going to plant? Weren't we planting lentils over there, I think? No, not lentils. Oh, what was it? What was it? What was it? What was it? Rye. We we're going to plant some rye. That's what we were going to do. Maybe we'll make a little bit of... Isn't rye for alcohol? I think so. I'm not much of an alcohol guy anymore, but I think it is. But either way, hey, I want to thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed let me know if there's anything you'd like to see, anything you want me to do. You have any other ideas what to do with parsnips and whatnot? Let me know. Thanks all, and until next time, see ya.